Good morning, Year 6. Welcome to Thursday. Um, we're going to start with our literacy contract this morning. So just a reminder that we are expecting you to get two of your tasks done. Um, there are only 10 tasks on the um, literacy contract, so you will need to get all 10 tasks done by Friday. So if you can just make sure that you get those two activities done today, that would be fabulous. All right, so moving into shared reading for today, guys. We're going to watch Tian's speech. She was the voice of youth winner from 2016. So Mrs. Moore and I have watched this, and from our analysis of it, we believe that it's the actual delivery of Tian's speech that wins her the competition, as opposed to the content that she has in her speech. So what we want you guys to do on this slide and on the next slide, even if you want more space, is we want you guys to identify what elements in her speech delivery has she used that has made her be so successful? So it's not about the content, it's about what she's done maybe with her voice or the way that she's trying to engage the audience with how she's speaking, maybe some hand gestures. What is she doing to try and make that really engaging for the audience with her actual delivery? And following on from that is going to be what we're expecting you to do in your writing today. So really thinking about what has Tian done in her speech and what can I be doing in mind? So at this stage of the week, you should be up to, your palm card should be almost done, if not done already. Um, you need to be thinking about how can I be delivering this speech? So what do my palm cards need to have on them? What do I need? How, how am I going to deliver my speech? And so for today, you can be thinking about either finishing your palm cards or practicing this speech how can I deliver this speech so I engage my audience of year six students and it's going to move into next week Mrs Moore um, part of our literacy contract for next week will be that each day we want you guys to practice your speech so that eventually when we do come into school you guys are going to be experts in delivering them and that is going to take us into maths so for maths today like we've been doing every single day log into Matific or Study Ladder and at least complete one task as your maths warm-up. After you've done that, we've got some questions here. Now, these are word problems. You will need to read through them and they are to do with multiplication and division. We want you guys to read through them, write the answers. Now, most of them, they're open questions, so there's not one correct answer. There's multiple correct answers. So as you can see in the first question, we want you to give at least three different options to how you can answer it. Same with the uh, second question, three different options of how you can answer that question. If you find those really easy, go on and try the extension task. We want you guys to try and push yourselves a little bit more this week. Been online learning for a bit. So if you find those quite easy, try doing the extension task and you can put your work onto the next two slides. We will also put um, links there if you guys do need a quick refresher on how to do long division or how to do some of the formal algorithms or how to do multiplication as well. A and good test, I was going to say, Mr. Martin, a good test to know if that work was easy. If it is at a, about 10 or 11 o'clock and you're finished your maths and you're finished your English, that's a sign that that was easy for you. So you can move on to the extension tasks. Yeah. Push yourselves, guys, like you would in the classroom. Yeah, exactly right. And last thing that you need to do for Wednesday is that it's going to be similar to what we did on Monday. You guys are going to choose, excuse me, one different form of um, source of electricity where electricity is transformed from. It needs to be a different one from what you did on Monday. So look at these different sources where electricity is created from. And Mrs. Moore and I have put links in here to some websites. But as we've said before, you guys can do your own research. If you don't want to use that website, you want to find a little bit more. You can use your own websites, choose one of them, and then put your research onto the next slide. And that is all for Thursday. So getting towards the end of the week, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9.30 on our Zoom meeting. Thanks Enjoy your day. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.